Seneca de Vita Beata, Episode 3. Proponendum est itaque primum quid sit quod adipitamus, tunc circumspiciendum qua contendere illo, calerdreme possumus, intellecturdi in ipso itinere, si modo rectum eret, quantum quotidie profligetur quantoque propius ab eosimus, ad quod nos cupiditas naturalis impellet. Here you can see on this map Corduba, which is the place of Seneca's birth, and it is in Hispania Ulterior. This entire region was taken from the Carthaginians during the Second Punic War at the close of the 3rd century BC, and it was then the tendency for talented men from the provinces of Rome, the Roman provinces that is, to come to Rome to study rhetoric and make a name for themselves, as Seneca did. Recall, in the previous episode, we talked about what was the primum, the first obligation in finding out how to lead the happy life. First, it must be proposed what that thing is, quod ad petamus, which we seek. Next, or then, here we resume with tunc, circum spiciendum est. We must carefully investigate. There must be a careful investigation, a looking around, circum and spicio. We must carefully see qua how, that is, by what means, contendere illo calerdreme possumus, we might be able, possumus, to head toward it. Illo here is functioning as an adverb, and it represents the happy life or the place to which we are going, by which we might head toward that, illo, very quickly, calerame. Intellecturdri is, has with it implicit sumus. We shall be able to understand in ipso itinera, on the actual journey, si modo rectum eret, provided it be a correct one, provided the journey be the proper path. Now, we might wonder why rectum is in this form. It is because itinera here is in the neuter, singular, and ablative, and as rectum refers to it, it must also be neuter and singular. Of course, rectum is the subject of eret, whereas itinera is the object of the preposition in. So itinera is ablative, and rectum is nominative. It's unclear to me why the editor does not put a semicolon here, because intellecturi sumus seems to me to begin a new idea. So then we must investigate by what route we can head toward it the most quickly. We shall understand on the journey itself, provided it will be the correct one. We shall understand or we shall learn how much quantum each day Profligetur, we are making progress. Profligetur here is from profligo, and it is a first conjugation verb, profligare. So this one is subjunctive, and it is subjunctive because it's in an indirect question, rogatio obliqua. We shall be able to find out how much progress we have made daily. Now, if one looks up profligo profligare in Lewis and Short or some other dictionary, you will find out that it has a lot of meanings that have to do with destruction or dissolution. But it also bears an extended meaning of reaching the end of something. So that's what it means here. How much daily we have progressed, profligatur, and now here's the second indirect question, and by how much nearer or closer we are to that thing, abeo, now propius when it takes ab means to be close or hard by, as Lewis and Short says, to that thing, ad quod, which cupiditas naturalis impellit nos, which our natural desire drives us, that thing to which our natural desire drives us.